hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is a new series of dotnet 6 web api and sql database as packet and react js version 18 as the front end we are going to implement a sample crud example application okay so let's understand how dotnet 6 web api and react js can combinedly serve to the user okay so whenever a user requests some domain okay or a website first the request go to the react js application okay so react js is a single page application so it contains only single html file that is called index.html okay whenever a user request any domain in a particular domain any route okay like example slash home or example slash profile or example.com slash dashboard like that any path he try to request the first thing is index.html get loaded okay because it contains only index.html file and it contains js file references references okay so js file is nothing but written in the react js code which will be comp compiled as a pure javascript and downloaded onto the browser along with the index.html okay so from this we can understand react is a single page application right and everything is carried out by javascript code which we written write in react js okay and routing everything so whenever uh, if you navigate to another page okay or a, another particular route in a website entire page won't refresh okay means for every for every page navigation uh, request won't go for the server okay because everything is inside of the javascript code so javascript code manipulates such a way that actually we are redirected to another page okay without reloading the page just it will replaces or paint the new page okay per route okay page won't be reloaded but the new page get painted based on the route so everything will be carried out by the react js okay now to display the data inside of a react js application it must depend upon backend but it cannot use database directly okay in the browser which is secure security violence right so no one do no one uses uh, database connection string or database connection calls directly into the javascript application or the react application or any another single page applications like angular js or view applications so what they have to do they need to depend upon the server side api okay so the, in this demo we are going to use the dotnet 6 api to deliver the information from the server okay so dotnet 6 api uh, for data communication it will contact the sql database okay so whenever user request the page first html gets downloaded so based on the route the data or api calls will be invoked from the react js application once the request is received by the dotnet 6 api it's going to fetch the data from the database and return the response as a json response which is understandable by the browser and the React JS application and so that on successful of the API call, the API response will be nicely rendered on the web page. Okay, this is the request flow. So now what we will do, just try to set up the database and create one database inside of it. We will try to create a table. Okay, so to use sql server database we have to install the sql server okay into our local machine for that 
you can go to this link which is a microsoft uh, sql server download link and there you can click on the download button under the develop developer menu okay which is a free version and we can use it okay once so this will install only the database sql server into our local machine okay so if you click on download button you will get a setup file downloaded and you can double click on it and run it and make sure to install it on your local machine since i have already done it so i am not i am not going to do that again okay once uh, the server is installed we need a U ui interface for interact with our sql server very easily for that we need to install the sql server management studio which is a ide for interact with the sql server for that go to this link okay download sql server studio ssms nothing but sql server management studio and you can click on this link and on clicking it you can see a setup file get downloaded so you can go to the downloaded file and double click on it and you can install it so it's take uh, quite some time so please make sure to install it perfectly after successfully installing sql server management studio you can see a ide opening like this okay this is the ui interface for interact with in the interacting with the sql server then you can log in with the your local server by default you get a local server with your windows authentication credentials okay so for this demo i am going to create a sample database like react js demo so yt means nothing but youtube okay so this is create database and name of your database okay this is the command to create the database so let's execute it And you can see command is successful that means our database got created so if i go to server expand databases and you can see here my new database that is nothing but yes demo yt is my database okay now for my demo to implement the crud operation we need a one sample table okay so here is the script for creating the sql table okay so this is also we have to run it but before running this script we need to adjust our database okay so my database is react js demo yt because i want to create this super villain sample table under this react js table so before running this script make sure to select your specified or required database okay coming to the this table this is a simple table okay it contains id and which is auto incremented i am using identity which is, which means id value will be auto incremented by one on every insertion of a new record okay so this is also my primary key i have specified here and i have other columns like villain name franchise power and image url so some sample columns i have created so let's run it so command is successful if i go to my react.js demo inside of the tables folder you can see our new table gets created to open it right click on it and you can select for select top thousand records okay since currently it is empty right so my table is created so that means we have successfully created our sample database and table using the sql server database okay we are going to create or react yes version 18 application okay i hope this video delivered some useful information to you all so if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are meet with new videos until then signing off